Mercedes-Benz S-Class represents an incredibly high level of luxury, refinement and comfort from the famed German automaker. Since 1954, the S-Class has been a tour de force, introducing many features that are taken for granted on almost all cars today. What if you want something a bit more than the regular S-Class? That's where Maybach enter the scene, taking the already fine S-Class and upping the stakes further. This 2022 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S584 Mati IC is just 66 miles on the clock and comes from Florida, making it an ideal option if you need a brand new Uber luxury car, pronto. The idea behind the Maybach S580 is to take Mercedes' own moniker of the best car in the world for the S-Class to its logical next level. And when you look at what it offers, it seems to do just that. It's more spacious, has more tech and uses a sophisticated V8 petrol engine. But is that enough to justify a 60% price markup, or is there more to it than just that? Today we will look inside the Mercedes Maybach S580 2022. If you enjoyed this video make sure give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share with your loved ones. Let's start with the exterior upgrades. While the previous revival of the Maybach brand in the year 2000 birthed a bespoke super luxury model with its own unique look inside and out, in the two most recent generations, Mercedes has chosen to simply stretch the S-Class itself. As such, there's not too much visual differentiation from the standard model, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's a good-looking car. It's a full 180 mm longer than even the long wheelbase S-Class that's sold in India, stretching the tape at a mammoth 5, 469 mm, and that is plain to see in profile. There's a small quarter glass behind the lengthened rear door, the B pillars are finished in brushed chrome, and the added length is complemented by subtle, monoblock design 19 inches alloy wheels. You'll still find the three-pointed star emblem on the bonnet and boot, but the Maybach logo features prominently on the C pillar. You also get a bold chrome grille with thin vertical slats and the Maybach name stamped into it, and large chrome surrounds for the air intakes in the front bumper. Interior space and comfort of this car is absolutely luxurious. This is truly where it feels like your money has been well spent, an upgrade from business to first class. Yes, the Maybach S-Class has the chauffeur package that lets you move and fold the front passenger seat forward for maximum legroom, but you seldom feel like you need it. Even six-footers could stretch out, cross their legs and recline their seat without compromising space for, presumably, the security professional sitting in front of them. The S580 is technically a five-seater with a bench rear seat, but really, the middle seat is a concession to use in a pinch. The two independently adjustable outer seats are really where it's at. These seats remain arguably the best in the business, wrapped in soft, quilted Nappa leather as they are, with generous cushioning, and of course, the soft pillow strapped to the headrest now embroidered with the Maybach logo. Apart from the recline, the seat base slides forward, you can set how tightly the side bolsters embrace you, and there are fold-out ottomans on both rear seats this time, again thanks to all that extra legroom. Even the carpets here are thicker, for you to better sink your toes into. Features and Tech In the Maybach, a lot of the tech exists to further the luxury experience, so much of it has been talked about already. But still, there's more. Even though this is car is arguably more for those in the back seat rather than the driver's seat, they have put in some features to pamper your chauffeur as well. The front seats too are heated, cooled and massaging this time, and even get active seat bolsters, like in an AMG, that move to support your sides while cornering. As with the S-Class, there's sensor-based ATIS tech and level 2 autonomous driving that includes adaptive cruise control, active lane keeping assist, cross-traffic warning and auto emergency braking, but this time adds evasive steering assist, which will steer the car away from a crash in a particularly dangerous scenario. While helpful, all these work with varying degrees of success in the unpredictable and poorly demarcated Indian driving environment, so it's good that you can turn them off if you want. Except auto emergency braking, which always turns back on each time you start the car, and slams the brakes violently if something strays into your path, which could potentially lead to being rear-ended. On the safety front though, the Maybach S-Class has as many as 13 airbags, including front-facing bags for rear seat passengers, and even seat belt airbags to protect your thorax. The newest version of the MBUX infotainment software debuted on the new S-Class and is tailored around a portrait-oriented 12.8 inches central touchscreen. It remains a slick unit with quick responses and intuitive design, but it has swallowed up too many basic functions that should have been physical buttons. Everything, from the AC controls to lifting the car for big speed breakers, is only accessible via the screen. But our biggest grouse are the touch-sensitive steering controls, which don't respond easily and are irritating to use. The digital dials are really sharp and easy to read even in the brightest sunlight, despite having no hooded covering. There's even a new Maybach display theme for the screens that uses a luxurious rose gold and off-white color scheme. Speaking of screens, there are three of them in the rear, and though it's tempting to lean back and fiddle with the small Samsung tablet controller in the center armrest, it's much nicer to use the bigger touchscreens on the back of the front seatbacks, which are just as nice as the one up front. 
trouble is, in an ironic side effect of the stretched rear cabin, they're almost always just out of your reach. Engine and refinement. This 2022 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S584 Mach-TIC is powered by a 4.0 liters bi-turbo V8 with a 48 V-mild hybrid system that sends 496 horsepower. 516 pounds FT to all four wheels via a 9G Tronic 9 speed automatic transmission and 4 Ma TIC all wheel drive system. Ventilated disc brakes on all wheels help bring this living room on wheels to a halt. The performance figures are impressive for such a large and heavy vehicle, with a 0 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds and top speed limited at 155 miles per hour. Combined with the all-wheel drive system, the 503 horsepower, 700 and MV8 will whisk this 2.3-ton limo from 0-100 kph in 5.0 seconds flat, with very little drama inside the cabin. Though, realistically, the most spirited driving this car will see is getting you to a meeting quicker, probably involving a lot of overtaking, which it does effortlessly too. Price and Rivals Curiously, the Maybach S-Class has its corner of the market all to itself. Sedans from Bentley and Rolls-Royce are far more expensive, and its traditional German rivals don't offer super luxury models. Then there's the matter of putting its price into perspective. Yes, at $313,635, it costs 60% more than the regular, locally made S-Class, but it's only 15% more than the CBU imported S-Class launch edition, which sold out almost instantly. In short, when it comes to this locally built Maybach S580 at least, it feels more like a range-topping S-Class than a more luxurious sub-brand, and that's no bad thing. There could have been more to set it apart from the lesser model, but then that's what the S680 is for. At its price and positioning, this S580 is a great upgrade for those who feel that limos, not SUVs, are still the ultimate in luxury motoring, and having spent the last few years in the back seat of the previous S-Class, want to take things one logical step further.